Hello everyone. In this video, let's create a modern looking splash screen using WPF. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel. So let's dive into the video. In order to keep things simple, we are continuing with the login form project. Or else, you can start a new one. If you want these project files, you can download them, link in the description. To achieve a modern UI, we are using material design libraries in our project. If you're starting a new project, we recommend watching our previous video to learn about material design libraries and how to import them into your project. Okay, to create a new window, click Project and select Add Window. Choose Window WPF and rename it. First of all, let's include the material design namespace. Then, change the height to 450 and width to 750. We'll use material design card as the main window, so remove the grid. Add the material design card with the properties. Corner radius, 15. Background, material design paper. Shadow depth, 4. Margin. To disable the default window, add these properties. Windows style, none. Startup location, center screen. Transparency, true. And background to null. So now, let's design the layout starting with the grid. We need two columns in the layout. So let's create columns with the width of 350 and 400. Next, create a stack panel and assign it to the first column. Grid column, 0. Horizontal alignment, left. Vertical alignment, center. And, margin. Next, create a wrap panel. Then let's display the logo with the image tag. Enter the source path. Horizontal alignment, left. Height, 50. Width, 50. Add a text block to display the company name. Text. Font size, 28. Font weight, bold. Horizontal alignment, left. Vertical alignment, center. And margin. Now use another text block to display the loading. Text. Font size, 17. Font weight, semi-bold. Horizontal alignment, left. And margin. Now add a progress bar with these properties. Name. Value, 0. Height, 5. Width, 280 and set is indeterminate to true. Now create another stack panel and assign the second column. Horizontal alignment, center. Vertical alignment, center. Height, 320. Width, 320. Let's add the illustration into our window. Source. To import the image, right-click the Images folder and select Existing Item. Then choose your image file. Now link the source path. Now we are done with the front end. Next. Let's start coding the backend functions. Select the window tag and open the events tab. Then double click on content rendered field. 
import these system libraries to your program. Next, go to content rendered event method and enter these codes. Now, create a method to handle, do work. Then, write another method to handle progress changed. Now, we have completed the program, but before we start, let me quickly explain what this code does. First, we created a background worker instance for the progress bar to handle the background work. Next, we assigned a do work method to increment the progress value of the progress bar with the help of a for loop. Finally, we created and assigned a method to monitor the value of the progress bar. And if the value is equal to 100, the next window will be displayed. Now, let's start the program. In order to display the splash screen at the startup, we have to change the startup URI. So, open app.xaml. and change the startup URI to splashscreen.xaml. So let's begin the program. You can download the project file, link in the description. By the way, if the video is useful, a sub to the channel would be appreciated.